everyone, it's Jade from Boho's Book Club and I am back with you for another video. And today's video is going to be my May and June reading wrap up. I've combined the two months because it's been a little while since I've done a reading wrap up video because of the stewardess thing which I've spoken about a couple of times in my videos already. So I'm just going to let you know what I have read over the last couple of months. It isn't a very impressive massive list so it's going to be a quick video. The reason it's been oh the music's a bit loud, sorry. I put I put music on because my neighbour is here and I'm a little bit embarrassed to film in front of people still, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, um so uh the reason I have only read three books in the last two months sadly is because of my lack of time. So yeah, but let's just hop right into it. The first book that I read was After You by Jojo Moyes. This is the sequel to Me Before You and I'm really sad to say that I didn't enjoy it. The idea of seeing what happens to Louisa Clark after the death of Will Traynor was a really wonderful idea, but this book was the furthest thing from what I thought that it would be. This book just fell completely flat for me and I feel like if you don't want Louisa Clark's character to be completely ruined for you, then just don't pick it up. It's not the kind of book sequel, to, like, you know, it's not the kind of sequel that you need to read, unlike, unlike a Harry Potter book or a Lord of the Rings book. I don't feel like it was necessary and I feel like Me Before You would have been a perfect standalone novel. I only gave this book two stars on Goodreads and I will leave the full um, review that I've done on it down below. Then I read Without You by Saskia Sargonson, which I loved and a lot of people haven't heard of this book so please try to get your hands on it or order it because it's well worth the read. I started reading it when I first joined the yachts and it was just the perfect timing. I mean, I just joined the yacht, and this is about a sailing accident that goes. Well, yeah, it's about a sailing accident. So, you know, getting lost at sea, and it was a little bit creepy and daunting for me to go onto the yachts, but I really enjoyed that creepiness to it. And um, so, this book is about a kidnapping, and the girl that gets kidnapped is Eva Gale, who's 17, and her family all presumes that she's drowned in this sailing accident. So, the book is about the family's struggle in dealing with the apparently death of their daughter as well as the struggle of Eva who has been kidnapped. This book incorporates themes such as Stockholm Syndrome, rape and adoption and I just feel like it was absolutely beautiful. I gave it four stars on Goodreads and if you'd like a more in-depth review I will leave the review I did on it down below. My tea is still too warm to drink. I don't know if you guys have heard of this yogi tea. Apparently it's some of the best tea that you can get. I'll show you. Yogi. Yogi tea. They all come with little messages on them. And I haven't read my message yet. It says, To be calm is the highest achievement of the self. It's very, very true. And I am drinking the ginger lemon tea and it's amazing. So go get yourself some of that some yogi tea promotion going on there and the book reviews anyway um the last book that i am just slipping in here because bloody hell it's a massive massive book and that is shantaram i am a good smack of the way through it and it has been keeping me busy for a while so i just thought i would include it i mean it's about the size of two books anyway so yeah to be honest with you i don't know what I think of Shantaram yet and that you know like everyone I know loved it and I just don't know if I am a part of the group that really loves it or really hates it just yet I just you know it's not that I don't think Roberts can write I think on the contrary a lot of his writing is actually really beautiful but I just I feel like a lot of his stuff is just it's overly described metaphors and it's just a whole bunch of crap at the end of the day um yeah i don't know it's just too well described it's not leaving anything up to the imagination and i think 
a good chunk of this book is just literally a description of people's bloody eyes and it's killing me so um yeah i don't know but i'm not finished yet i've got a good like 300 or so more pages to go so it's still gonna be keeping me busy for a few more days but that's it um let me know what you have been reading lately and if you have any recommendations because on the island that I have moved to in Mallorca, I cannot find one English bookstore and it's been breaking my heart. So I went on to Amazon the other day and I ordered uh, three books. I'll leave that as a surprise as to what they are because I'll film a book haul video for you when they do arrive. Very, very excited. Uh, but I'm going to be placing orders quite regularly now because obviously I can't go to any bookstore. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to hear them. Have a wonderful day further, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.